Hello everyone, welcome back to Fleet and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server so you can play with your friends. And I will make this video very beginner friendly, so if you're just starting on doing this, this will be great. You don't need to do any port forwarding or nothing like that. And also the server is also free as well, so you can always play with your friends. Now I do want to say that there will be a queue sometimes to join your server. Now it depends on how many people are actually trying to make servers. Now this queue could take a couple of minutes or it could take about 30 minutes to load your server. It all depends on how many people are trying to make a server at the same time. But I do want to mention that if you don't want to wait for your queue or anything like that, I recommend checking out Apex Hosting, which I will leave a link in the description down below. I will talk about them a bit later on. Also, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. But let's actually get straight into the video. So the server hosting I'm talking about is eternos.org. Now, I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. Basically, this website makes it so you can actually host up your own Minecraft servers for free, and they are also forever. But these servers will shut down if you're not playing on the server. So after a certain amount of minutes, the server will turn off. But all you have to do is come back to this website and just launch it up again. Now I will show you how to do that as well in a bit. So what we're going to want to do first is actually make a server. So simply come down to the corner here and click on play. Now once you are here, you will need to make an account so you can sign up just here. So click on the sign up button. Now in here, what you're going to want to do is actually make a username. So make yourself a username for this. I'm just going to call mine slow. I think I'll just put a bunch of numbers on the end just like that. And here, just agree to their terms of service and agree here as well. Click on that and click on next. So now what we're going to want to do is actually make a password. So you can make a password if you want to just here. And also you can put an email in here as well if you want to do that as well. You can do that. Now once you've added a password, click on the next button and it will take you to this dashboard just here. Simply from here, what you're going to want to do is just create a server. Just click on this button just here. And right away, we can start seeing some of the stuff already getting created. So you can see here, we can choose Java edition. We can also choose Bedrock edition if you want to do that as well. And also down here, we can also see the IP to actually join the server. You can edit this if you want to just here, or you could just leave it like I'm going to do. You could also uh, edit the uh, welcome message just here as well if you want to do that. But if you don't want to change any of this, just click on great. So here we are now on our dashboard. So from here, you can start up your server by clicking on start just here. Now what this will do is just start up your server. It'll make you a world. And if you want to join it, and if your friends want to join it, give them this IP just here. So whatever your IP is in here, just give them that. But before I start mine up, I'm also going to say about the uh, version just here. So if you want to change the Minecraft version, you can do that from in here. So what you want to do is click on the little change button just here. And once you click on that, you can choose the version you want to play on. Also on the side here, we've got a bunch of other options we've got here. Now all these options over here is all to do with our server. So you've got options, you've got your console, you've got your log, you've got your players as well. Software, files, worlds, backups and access. So inside of your access, you can actually add on your friends' accounts in here. So basically, if your friend signs up to this website as well, in here, you can add them to this. Now, if you add your friend's username in here, the address, basically what they could do is they can actually load up your server if you're not online. So that is actually pretty good. If you're not online, your friends can still play on the server if you add them in here. You also got your backups as well. This is where you can back up your worlds and stuff like that if you want to do that. Inside of worlds, you can literally see the world you have got. Or you can upload your own world if you've got your own world if you want to do that. Inside of files, in here, we'll be able to see all of our server uh, files and all that from in here. Inside of software, in here, we can actually use other snapshots or uh, other plugins and stuff like that if you want to do that. So if you want to play plugins or mods, you can do that from in here. Basically, you have to install uh, one of these here. So if you want to play with plugins, you have to install this one just here, Spigot and Bucket. But if you want to do mods, you can do the Fabric over here. You can do the Forage over here and Neon Forage as well. Or you can do mod packs down here. But I don't recommend using any of these if you're going to use a free server. But if you do want to use mods or plugins, I recommend using Apex Hosting as they have some of the highest quality servers you can get out there and they also do come with a DDoS protection so be sure to check them out on the link in the description down below next we've got players in here we can see all the players that we do have on our server or that have joined our server you can also whitelist people you can opt them ban them and ban IP them so you can do that from all in here if you want to do that inside the log this is all the logs we will see for our Minecraft server we also have our console as well in here we'll see all the information for our server and who joins our server and everything like that and that will be all in here if you want to see all that inside of options we have all the options we can do for our server so you can change the game mode you can have fly enabled you can choose the slots for your server as well we also got the difficulty over here pvp so if you want to disable pvp you can just turn it off like that also the game mode as well i'm going to change that to the creative just like that one and easy mode i'm going to leave on peaceful and you can choose any of these down here if you want to do that as well so next thing we've got to do is actually load up a Minecraft server. So go over to service just here and then click on start the server just here. Click on start and you have to agree to the EULA. So click on yes, I agree. Click on that. And we also have to click on OK on this one here as well. 
and now our server will be loading up and it does depend on how many players are actually playing on these servers so it could take some time for this server to load up so our server has now loaded up as you can see it is now all online down here we can see how much ram we're using and we've also got the players here as well also you can see over here in about four minutes you can see our server will turn off now if it does turn off what you have to do is it's come back onto this website just here and then click on start again so that is one downside on having a free minecraft server they always seem to shut down after a certain amount of time now for me i want to copy my ip address down here click on that i'm actually going to load up my minecraft now once my minecraft loads what you're going to want to do is go to multiplayer inside of multiplayer add server down here so inside of here what you're going to want to do is give your server a name and then down here put in that server address so that server address we copied on that website put that in here also give this to your friends as well and then click on done and as you can see our server has now come up in here and click on the little play button just there and now we are joining our server so here we are in our server so your friends can join the server and you can also play on it as well at the same time as long as you are on the server the server will always be up and it won't shut down unless you are afk so if you're staying afk your server will shut down but if you're always moving your server will always stay up now this is the easiest way to actually play with your friends on minecraft you don't need to do any port forward or nothing like that it's super easy to set the server up so if this video was helpful for you be sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button as well but that is it for this video and i'll see you all in my next one